Hi, I'm Brad Reeder. I'm a nurse practitioner with the Prisma Health Organization, uh, and I work in the emergency department as a nurse practitioner here. I actually started off my career as a nurse in the emergency department, and then after learning, I wanted to further my education a little bit, I decided to become a nurse practitioner. So I studied my undergraduate degree at Bob Jones University here in Greenville, and then I did my advanced practice degree at Vanderbilt University in Nashville, Tennessee, and then finished off a doctoral degree in nursing at MUSC in Charleston back in 2018. How long does that take to do? So my undergraduate degree was a four-year program as a bachelor uh, in nursing program, and then my master's degree at Vanderbilt took me another two and a half years, and then my doctoral degree took another two years after that. But I was able to break it up incrementally after the BSN program, which I, I kind of liked being able to do, and I was able to I was able to kind of take my education as I was, a, you know, as I saw the need to uh, proceed with further education. Were you able to still work clinically as a nurse while you were doing your education? Mm -hmm. Yes, at any point in time. Once I finished my BSN degree, I was able to work as a nurse, and technically still am, able to work as a nurse uh, after I finished that degree, even um, all throughout. So I was able to kind of help save money for grad school and pay for grad school and support my family while going through school later on by working as a nurse. What's your favorite part of your job? Uh, I, probably my favorite part of my job is when I actually get to make a difference in someone's in someone's life. Um, doing doing something where I, I get a sincere appreciation uh, and or caring for someone in a way where I feel like they're in a vulnerable situation and being able to make a difference honestly it makes me yeah, I guess feel feel fulfilled in the end of my day. Can you give us a little bit of an explanation of what your day-to-day -day may be like? So my day-to-day -day operations are somewhat in, uh, would be similar to an emergency physician. Um, I, as patients come into the emergency department, I see them, I treat them, and I collaborate with my physician colleagues and develop a plan of care and determine what is appropriate and discharge them generally to follow up with either a specialist or their primary care provider um, if I'm not able to complete their care in the emergency department. So I see a variety of patients. My primary objective in my position is to see patients uh, as efficiently as possible. So I see patients that um, I can quickly try to go in and uh, fix their problem. Hopefully that would be discharged home and see them and care for them uh, to help increase uh, efficiency of flow as patients come in the emergency department based on demand. Where do you see your career going in the next few years? So I spent several years of my career already in education. I actually taught in an undergraduate uh, nursing program. I do appreciate education. Currently, I've stepped away from an education. I'm in a full-time clinical position. I enjoyed both of those uh, aspects of my career, and I honestly enjoy the variety of my career. So as far as my vision for what my career will be in the next several years, I'm not completely clear on what that will be. I just kind of enjoy having a variety of options in front of me and being able to, as I always say, my goal all, all times is to be the absolute best at whatever I can be at that point in time. Okay. And then what do you think you find to be one of the more challenging aspects of your career? The biggest challenge is not being able to meet a patient's needs um, depending on what their need are. Sometimes patients uh, have an expectation that I don't feel like I can meet effectively. And sometimes that becomes a, a matter of family members versus what the patient wants and what the family wants uh, and what I feel is best um, in the best interest of that patient. It's not so much um, a lack of, of skill I, I'm talking about um, and certainly I, I try to develop that as best I can, but sometimes uh, patients have expectations and not being able to meet that expectations or trying to educate them on what appropriate expectations may be uh, is honestly quite challenging and it's hard to navigate that process and trying to um, deal with people who are in an emotionally volatile state in that point in time in their lives. Sure. And then I guess the last question would be for our high school students that are interested in pursuing a degree as a nurse practitioner, what advice would you give to them? My advice is go for it. I mean, healthcare has consistently been um, and continues to be a strong field uh, to move into. I 
personally, I appreciate the nursing aspect of it. I felt that I was able to, at any point in time, stop wherever I wanted to be. I, I worked and went to school with several people who just dreamt of being a nurse their entire life. That was not me, but that's okay. And the fact that they can have a good training education and make a very good living as a nurse and have a very strong uh, opportunity to do their career uh, is fantastic and then at the same time for those people who decide I want to continue on and further my education that career path is already set ahead of you as well to you know a very high high degree so I, I appreciate having the opportunity to stop and say I'm, I'm comfortable with where I am but also the opportunity to look to the future and say I'd like to pursue further education great thanks so much Brad thank you